An inverter is a device which converts DC into AC. Depending on the application, AC or DC values can be fixed or variable. An inverter consists of four switching devices like MOSFET or IGBT and an inductor and capacitor for filtering out the high frequency component in the output voltage. This is how a single phase inverter looks like. I have marked all the components. Now before proceeding into the design, let me give you the specifications. Input voltage is 400 volt. Output voltage is 230 volt at 50 hertz. Output power is 2 kilo watt. Switching frequency is 10 kilo hertz. Output THD is less than 5 percentage. Inductor ripple current is 20 percentage. So, let's start the design with inductor design. Voltage at one end of the inductor is marked as VDC, which is the input voltage, and voltage at the other end of the inductor is marked as Vout, which is the output voltage. So when we apply sinusoidal PWM, there is a voltage and current in the inductor, which is also shown. Delta IPP, which is the value of ripple current, is the difference between delta I max and delta I min. We know that, for any inductor, voltage is given by V is equal to LDI by DT. Now substitute all the values, by looking at the waveform, we will get VDC minus V out is equal to LI into delta IPP by DTS, where TS is the switching frequency. Rearranging the equation we will get, delta IPP is equal to, DTS into VDC minus V out divided by, LI. For any sinusoidal PWM inverter, duty cycle, D, at any time is given by, D omega T is equal to, MA into, sin omega T, where, MA is the, modulation index. So we can write output voltage VO is equal to, duty ratio into, input voltage. Substitute these two values, in the previous equation, we will get, delta IPP is equal to, MA sin omega TTS into, VDC minus VDC MA sin omega T divided by LI. On simple adjustments, you will get final equation for delta IPP as shown. Now to find the modulation index where the maximum ripple is present. For that, just differentiate the above equation and equate to zero. That will give you sin omega T is equal to 1 divided by 2 MA. Now, substitute this in the delta IPP equation, we will get Delta IPP max is equal to VDC into TS divided by 4 LI. On rearranging, we will get the final inductor design equation as LI is equal to VDC divided by 4 into FSW into Delta IPP max. Now substitute all the values from our specifications, we will get inductance as 4.06 millihenry. Now we'll look at the design of capacitor. The inductor and capacitor forms a low pass filter. The cutoff frequency of this filter is given by FC is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root LC. To get a good switching frequency attenuation, the cutoff frequency kept at FSW divided by 10 or lower. So on equating above two equations, we will get FSW divided by 10 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root LC. So the final equation for capacitance is C is equal to 10 divided by 2 pi FSW all square into 1 by LI. Now substitute all values from our specifications, we will get value of capacitance as 6.23 microfarad.